What's up, YouTube? You know what time it is. It's my fan time. Yes, it's been a long time since you've actually seen me in a video, huh? Well, that's changing in this video because I have quite a few things to show. <laughs> uh, you know, jersey pickup-wise, and it was really unexpected. Um, uh, totally unexpected. I really wasn't expecting to, you know, pick up any more jerseys until next year, which is only a couple weeks away. But, you know, obviously the... Uh, the uh, Formerly Super Bowl sale, now Winter Sales event comes up in a month from uh, Mitchell and Ness at the Mitchell and Ness store. And, you know, I have a couple other things up my sleeve, so um, <laughs> aside from that. But uh, today was one of those uh, just all-time days. And, you know, we have these every now and then as, a, um, as collectors go. And you never know what you're going to find until you go out and you look. Then you look. So today I was out at the, one of the local malls. I was finishing off my Christmas gift shopping. I got that done, thankfully. <laughs> I procrastinated until the weekend before Christmas, but I got it all done. And uh, while I was there, I came across some jerseys that I just was really surprised to see. Well, not so much surprised to see because they've been there, but surprised to see them as deeply discounted as they were. And let's get right into it. Uh, I know I, I uh, showed this to um, to our to our friend Hometown Fit is of course holding it down in the Toronto area in in Canada. So shout out to my Canadian viewers out there. You guys might be interested in this jersey, not so much for the jersey itself, but for the player. And it's funny because once he, this jersey was at Modell's Sporting Goods for years, they had this jersey. And it never went on sale. I mean, the most it went off was like $20. Like, never. <laughs> you know? Throughout all of the years, it just, it never. So once the, this this player retired, I kind of figured it would go cheaper. <laughs> so it's funny because Hometown Fids and I were having a, uh, you know, a, um, uh, instant messaging back and forth on Facebook when he announced his retirement. And, of course, he retired as a member of the Blue Jays. But um, I had made the mention to him at that time, and this is almost a month ago, I guess. I bet you now I'm going to be able to get this jersey on sale. Cheap. <laughs> um, and lo and behold, that was today, and uh, here it is. This is a, a cool base, authentic Phillies uh, turn back the clock jersey, circa the 19, I guess the 1987, 1989 type season, from like 87. I guess the 91. When they do these uh, turn back the clock games, the Phillies, they do one every year, and they usually wear this jersey at home. And the funny thing is about it is that Roy Halladay never pitched in any of these games, but of course all the players wear this jer this jersey, even if you're on the bench, you know, just sitting there watching the game. <laughs> if you're not pitching in it, uh, they all wear this jersey. And the Phillies have worn this jersey in the past, I guess. Uh, I I'd say at least four four seasons or so at home because they played one game every year at home for a turn back the clock game and, and they wore this jersey. Last year I believe it was like supposed to be like the 1991 season and they still wore this jersey. So they made this jersey a, uh, a retail version of it authentic for just about all the players. And if you go to the um, Citizens Bank Park, if you go to the, the, the fan gear shop there, you see a lot of them for the different players. Well, Models only had Roy Halladay and Cliff Lee. Uh, for, for sale, for retail. And they've had them for years, and they're never on sale. Like, never. <laughs> for whatever reason. The uh, But Roy Halladay, of course, retired as a member of the Blue Jays. He signed a one-day contract. They're a very classy move on his part. But he also had some great years with the Phillies, including, you know, the no-hitter in the playoffs and the perfect game in Florida. And, you know, he had some really, really great seasons here. Of course, the, the latter of which wasn't that great. But, you know, hey, he was a, he's a future Hall of Famer. And here is his authentic uh, cool base Phillies jersey for the turn back the clock night. And uh, there it is. It's, it's always been a jersey that I've always liked because of that logo there on the sleeve. That's my all-time favorite Phillies logo, as I've made mention of in the past, with the Independence Hall there. Really, really sharp. Um, it's got the holiday on the nameplate, 34, of course, in the old Phillies font and colors from like the 19, you know, what, 1970s, the 19, early 90s until they changed over to what they were um, these days. 
But really, really nice looking jersey. It's a cool base. So it's, it's like a lighter style jersey. It's a button down, of course. And there's the jock tag. So I actually, it, it was on sale and I also had a coupon to use. So I was able to stack them. So I got this at a really good deal. So I'm definitely going to wear this to a game next year. The last couple years I've actually gone to the Turn Back the Clock night game. So I'll probably try to go to it again this year and I'll, I'll wear this to it. And of course I'll wear it during the season too. Nice classic jersey. Now here's the other story and this is where it gets very interesting. So I already picked up the holiday jersey from Modell. So I'm already feeling pretty good about things. So I had to go to this one last store in the mall and it's um, formerly BC Sports, now it's Sports Vault. So I go in the Sports Vault and for years they've had these Mitchell and Ness football jerseys on the wall. And as was the case with the Ray Halliday, they like never go on sale. I think the last time they were on sale was last year on Black Friday, and I missed out on it because I, of course, went to the city to Mitchell Ness, and I found out later that Sports Vault had their jerseys on sale, the Mitchell Ness jerseys, and they were like a hundred bucks each. So I missed out on it. And I was like, ah. <laughs> so they they know me in this store. They know me as the jersey guy, right? Because I walk in every time I go in there. I ask them, hey, you know these Mitchell Ness jerseys ever? You know, are they going on sale anytime soon? Are you gonna do a sale for them? And the owner, well, not the owner, but one, the, one of the head people at the store, he, he, he's always told me that he wants them to go on sale because he wants them to move. He's had them for a number of years. They haven't moved, obviously, at full retail price. And it's, it's just because of the upper management is not allowing him to have the sales for these jerseys. So they're just not moving. They're just, they were staying up, high up on the wall. <laughs> And, and just kind of there. They were almost like decoration. Because <laughs> no one's buying them at retail prices. And, um, you know, they've been there for a number of years now. And what happened was I, I, I went into the store to get a little mini Riddell Denver Broncos helmet for a co-worker of mine who's a huge Peyton Manning fan. So he's a huge Bronco fan now. He used to be a big Colts fan. Now he's a big Broncos fan. So I go in there to get him a little Riddell mini Broncos helmet for Christmas to put on his desk at work, right? And it just so happens that I, I come walking into the store, you know, storefront there, you know, in the mall. I come into the store, and, you know, the, the, the guy sees me, he, and he, like, waves. And so I just figure, okay, you know, he's waving to me to say, hey, happy holidays, you know. So I give him the wave, and I'm heading over to the, where the little mini helmets are, where they have them for sale. And... And he says, hey, I got good news for you. <laughs> and, I, and I say, oh, yeah, what's that? He said, the Mitchell and Ness jerseys are on sale. And let me tell you, when I say they're on sale, they were on sale. <laughs> they were under 100 bucks each. They wanted to move them. <laughs> so he said, today's your day because they're on sale for under, you know, whatever, whatever they were. I think they were like 89 bucks each. Go get them. <laughs> and I'm sitting there and I'm going... Oh, no. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you're killing me. Because <laughs> I really wasn't expecting to, you know, to get any more jerseys really until next year. But limited time only, these were going to be on sale. And so I'm like, you know, I got to do it because if I don't do it, I'm going to kick myself later. And some of these jerseys, you can't even find at Mitchell Ness anymore. Some of these jerseys, even if you did, you're not going to get them for 89 bucks each. So I went ahead and I made the move <laughs> these jerseys. Um, and, um, you know, so, hey, it's a way to, to finish off the year strong, right? So <laughs> there we go. So that's the story of how it all went down at the mall today. Just unexpectedly, I'm there doing some Christmas shopping, getting the last second gifts. And I run into some jerseys while I'm there. So, hey, you know, it's the festive season. So <laughs> here we go with the haul from um, from the sports vault. And the first one here is, is a jersey I know a few of the jersey heads already own. And I it was funny because I was at the Mitchell Ness store yesterday. In fact, I took a picture. They had, I know A-Rock would be interested in this. They are. They just came out with the, 19, with the 2000 uh, Chris Carter Vikings jersey. 
and it has the Vikings uh, 40th anniversary logo patch on a really nice jersey. I think they did a really nice job on it. Some people argued that point on the Kings and Throwbacks group. There's just no pleasing some people. But anyhow, the uh, <laughs> um, really nice jersey. I took pictures of it, you know, to post on Kings of Throwbacks, and I figure that's going to definitely be one that comes home with me during the uh, upcoming uh, winter sales event, the week of the Super Bowl. And I was talking to someone at, 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 at the store, a worker there. Um, uh, I think his name was Mike, so shout out to Mike if he sees this. So I was talking to him about the collection that I have and about what I look for. And, uh, you know, I, this jersey actually came up because I brought up the, uh, the 1989 Deion Sanders jersey, right? The, the rookie home rep that was just the grail of grails for me. And I, I talked about this jersey, and I'm like, you know, I, I want to get this one too someday because I always like the Black Falcons jersey. And I said, the only thing is, you know, I have the Jesse Tuggle. And so I don't know if I want to get the exact same, you know, Falcons jersey for the Dion. Maybe I'll just get, you know, the, the, the you know, another version of it, maybe a vintage version, maybe the Reebok or whatever. So they had this at Sports Vault, and I figured, you know what, I'm actually going to get it cheaper than at the, the if, if I were to get it at the, um, the uh, winter sales event, or in some cases online, even for the vintage ones, they go for more than this. So I picked up this for, for the 89 bucks. So I got the Mitchell and Ness 19, uh, I believe, yeah, it's the 1990 Deion Sanders. And I know a lot of you have already seen this jersey, some of you already have it, but here it is, and I, I also do have the Jesse Tuggle, so I got the prime time too. And really nice jersey, everything's heat pressed on, you know. And it's, of course, it's got the big 25th anniversary patch right there, big and bold on the on the shoulder. Um, really, really nice, nice patch. This is probably one of my favorite patches that have been on a jersey because this is so big <laughs> and it's really neat. Um, so. Yeah, so I picked this one up as part of the deal, and uh, I'm happy. I'm happy I was able to get it. Got a really good deal on it too. So, um, so that's that's jersey number one from the hall, and the rest are from one team. <laughs> because uh, to this point, before today, I didn't have. I, I had some Steeler jerseys, just no Mitchell Ness ones. And they are my favorite AFC team. They've been my favorite AFC team for going back a number of years. Of course, I live in Pennsylvania, so I'm an Eagles fan first, and that's the team I always root for over everyone. But, you know, my favorite AFC team has always been the Steelers you know, for the history and the whole, you know, the steel heart and all that stuff. And um, so I had some, I have a decent amount of Steeler jerseys. I just never had a Mitchell Ness one. Although I do want to still pick up that Terry Bradshaw that Mitchell Ness reissued this year, so that will probably be – one of the uh, winter sales event purchases. But so prior to today, I didn't have any Mitchell Ness Steelers jerseys. Well, that changed <laughs> because I, I got I got one of each of the ones that they had, <laughs> um, including this one. And I know um, Murph, um, um, you, you, you might want to look away because I know you've been looking for this one. And I, I, you know, I had interest in this one too, but it just was never on sale until today. So this is a really uh, is a really neat one, and I have his Reebok jersey uh, that they made some years ago. I got it in the home black, but now I have the white, and that's that's uh, Jack Lambert. And the cool thing about this jersey too is it's a long sleeve, so it's that older Steelers jersey, and um, this is from the really early days of their of their uh, dominance in the 70s of course the Super Steelers in the 1970s this is a 1975 Jack Lambert and it's the away white really nice with the long sleeves I know Murph's looking for this one too so hopefully someday Murph you're able to get it too because it's an awesome jersey the quality is just so nice on this um, these are all well this one's actually an older run this is a made in Vietnam so it's not made in China um, but I believe the rest are. But this is an older run Mitchell and Ness. And, and it's single stitched everything besides for the back. The Lambert is double stitched. 
and it is on the nameplate, and then the 58 single stitched. And again, gotta love those long sleeves. I don't have too many long sleeve football jerseys. I think this is about my fifth that I have, maybe fourth or fifth. So I really don't have too many of them. But um, but now I got another one. I got uh, Jack. <laughs> Jack Lambert. Um, so there's that one. I have a, a buddy who, who uh, goes back to the 70s. Steelers, that's his favorite team, and he always talks about Jack Lambert, so there you go. Chuck, that's for you. <laughs> He's a huge Steelers fan. Um, and jersey number two, we're going to keep with the 70s theme going. You know, we you, you talk about Jack Lambert, and, and he was certainly one of the great defenders on that, that the Steel Curtain Steelers teams, but when you think about the Steel Curtain, you know, obviously they had some great Hall of Famers, but this guy, you know, was probably one of the best. That's me, mean Joe Green here, uh, number 75, of course. Um, great, great lineman for many years. And of course, he did that iconic commercial for the Super Bowl. Um, that was many years ago. There was a Coca-Cola ad. Um, they swapped a uh, Coke for the jersey. I would do that. I would be happy to get the jersey, too, for a Coca-Cola. <laughs> but this is the uh, Mitchell and Ness version, and it is from the 1976 season, so it does have the bicentennial patch right there and 75 of course is a uh, is a uh, single stitch it's not a long sleeve it's a shorter sleeve because 76 they went to the shorter sleeves but um, there you go and it is a um, this one's made in Vietnam too so it's a slightly older older run uh, I know for sure though the Dion was made in China it's one of their newer run jerseys but these are some of the older ones Green on the back, single stitch on a nameplate, and 75, of course. And gotta love those sleeves. Some of the iconic sleeves in football. Those yellow and white and black lines. Really, really solid jersey right there. Um, I think any football collector is probably gonna have a Steelers jersey in their collection sometime. They're just, you know, they, they you know, stand the test of time. And, you know, you talk about the Steelers' uh, defense, they certainly had a lot of great defenders, but they had some pretty pretty solid players on offense, too. And one of the all-time great running backs is, is Franco Harris. And so here's, here's the Franco Harris 1976 jersey with the bicentennial patch yet again. And it will be on the uh, Terry Bradshaw, too, because Mitchell Ness made the 76, reissued it. Looks pretty good. I saw it in the store yesterday. So I'll probably be picking that one up too. So there's the 32 again, single stitched, and it is on the sleeves too. And Harris, single stitch nameplate, big 32 on the back. And um, this is also a, a a slightly older run made in Vietnam. I know Mitchell and Ness kind of reissued these in recent years. I believe they made green and uh, uh, Harris and Swan. And I can't remember if, I think they may have made a Lambert too, but I know for sure they just reissued Bradshaw like early, uh, later in this year. So the 1976 one with the Centennial patch. So, very cool jersey. And last but not least, yes, we're going to continue to, I, I feel like I need like a terrible towel or something, but we're just, <laughs> I'm, I actually have the Steelers on right now. They, they won 38-31 at Green Bay, so they keep their slim playoff hopes alive. And last but not least, this was one of the, you know, I, I really wasn't around for those 70s Steelers. I mean, I, I you know, I kind of missed that era. But um, one of the first Steelers that I remember uh, uh, growing up was this guy. And you talk about uh, a great defender. Um, certainly could have played on those Steel Curtain teams. And um, uh, another Hall of Famer right here, and, and that's Rod Woodson. And here's his Mitchell Ness jersey from the 1994 season, so it's got the 75th anniversary logo for the NFL right there. And then the NFL shield on the neck, 26 on the front. Yeah. It's Woodson. He was one of my first, the, the first Steelers, one of the first Steelers that I remember, him and, him and uh, 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 Greg Lloyd. I, I remember them. And, and Cordell Stewart. Yeah. So, 
James Woodson, great player. Later in his career, he won a Super Bowl with the uh, Ravens. And I believe he was on that Raiders team that went to the Super Bowl, too, those years ago when they lost to Tampa Bay, I believe. But he was just one of the all-time greats, Hall of Famer. Great ball hawk uh, defender. And this one, is an, uh, this one is also made in Vietnam. But this one, I remember, came out, I think, just around the time they started going through the China runs. But this one is actually made in Vietnam. So very, very nice jersey. And so, hey, how's that for a haul, right? My fan gets it done. <laughs> Very unexpected. I, I honestly, God, did not expect that today. It was, like I said, one of those all-time great days as a collector. Just, you know, one after another. <laughs> Just one store had the holiday on sale. The other store had these. I did not expect this at all. It was like an early Christmas gift for me. And the eyes went wide. I got the Singletary eyes, too. I'm like, ooh. They're on sale. <laughs> and uh, just an amazing price for them. And, you know, um, can't beat that. Mitchell and Ness, you know, the store, I'll never get those at those prices there. So, you know, just a great day for me, uh, adding some more to the NFL collection. I know I've been primarily with NBA, right, for, for how long now collecting. And now I get another baseball to the collection. I get, you know, some really nice football, including some Mitchell and Ness Steelers jerseys. I haven't had a Mitchell and Ness yet. I had some Steelers jerseys, like I said, just not Mitchell and Ness. So now, well, that kind of changed <laughs> today. So anyhow, those are my pickups, uh, unexpected pickups, pickups as they were. They were, they were the pickups from today, and uh, really ecstatic for getting them. And uh, you know, it was a heck of a haul. Uh, happy holidays to me. <laughs> but um. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and uh, I know it's a little bit of a long one, but I had a decent amount of things to show. I do have a lot of swag factor, too. I have a lot of Steeler hats and stuff, so just not pictured here. And, of course, we all know I have Phillies hats, right? So, But anyhow, this is the, the, the probably going to be the last video before Christmas, so um, a happy holiday season to, to all of you out there in YouTube land, to all my fellow Jersey heads, all my subscribers, family, friends, fellow DeviantArt members, I mean, what I'm forgetting Happy, happy holidays to all of you. I hope you all get what you're looking for for Christmas. And um, if not, complain to someone, you know, because that's not right. Everyone should get what they want for Christmas. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, I had an early Christmas today. But I uh, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the video. And, uh, again, take care, everyone. Uh, until my next video, this is Mighty Fan, as always, saying peace. And I will see you then. Go Eagles tonight. They're playing the Bears. Unfortunately, Dallas won earlier, so they can't win the division tonight. The Eagles, so they'll have to. They'll just, they'll, they'll just have to beat Dallas and Dallas next week. That would be nice, wouldn't it? There, just another Christmas gift for my thing. But anyhow, uh, until my next video, as always, as I say, this is Mighty Fan once again. Happy holidays, everyone. Peace. I will see you in the next video. Okay, everyone, take care.